Let's be clear about this. Far South Norman on down through Noble and Purcell. Okay, so we're talking about Noble, Far South Norman, Far South Norman, Noble and Purcell. Tornado warning with this. Stair hook. Stair hook often means that uh, a tornado is imminent. And the Weather Service has dumped a tornado warning on it. Eastern Grady, as well as McLean, as well as Cleveland. Far South Norman. Noble and Purcell, all right? Tornado warning for that part of McLean and Cleveland County. So we're talking about, our, I put the edge of the track there on downtown Norman, but the, look what the red line center line is. Red line center line, Cole, down to Noble. That's the red line center line. The stinger hook is down by Dibble right now. So you folks in Purcell are in the track. So far south Norman, Noble and Purcell. Let's go back to Mark Dillard. Uh, market is ramping up, no doubt about it. Uh, we're showing a uh, strong gate to gate shear just west of Dibble on the county line right now. Yeah, Mike, the best it's supposedly looked all day, to be honest with you, as far as a uh, well defined lowering. Uh, it got two constructions of lowering, but the one to the south is the one that has the most rotation and lifting gun into it that continues to turn. So I just think, as I keep saying, localizing, I mean, put down a funnel that's all the way connected to the ground or lifting debris off the ground, even if it's not uh, well-defined, uh, maybe halfway down for the cloud base. But that's basically what it is right now. It's about halfway down. It's very ragged, as you can see in our screen. Uh, I'm here with uh, Kevin Cosby. Kevin is from one to the left there is where we're most, most, uh, most uh, concerned about. And that is on counter crossing 74 24 right now. That's off to my due west. That's going to put it basically uh, uh, to the uh, south and west of Washington, uh, almost due west of Washington, probably just to the north of Sybil there. Uh, this is really the best the most organized foot all day, although it's still a bit ragged. It doesn't show signs of, of uh, very fast turning, Mike, at the, at the uh, base there. Back to you. All right, let's go to Hank Baker. Hank's near Dibble right now, Dibble, southwest of Norman. Hank Baker joins us live. He's tracking that storm. Hank, what do you got? Hello, Mike. Mike, I am located exactly one mile to the west of Dibble and three quarters of a mile south of Highway 39. And this storm, uh, for the first time today, has really, really wrapped up and got its act together. It really looked like uh, about five minutes ago or so we had an imminent tornado just at any moment. Uh, in the last couple of minutes, though, it kind of disorganized just a little bit. But this is definitely something we're keeping a close eye on, Mike. Back to you. Okay, so again, just to reconfirm what you just said, uh, Hank, uh, basically you're right up there at uh, tornado production time with this. Uh, so your opinion would be if it were to ramp up one more step, it could produce a tornado. Is that right? Yes, Mike, absolutely. Okay, and your location is going to be uh, just to the west of Dibble. Just one mile west of Dibble, and we are just right on the edge of the circulation at this time. The uh, circulation would be about one and a half miles to the west, southwest of Dibble. Okay, Hank, appreciate that. Stay on the Gettner here with us because we'll want to check in with you for sure. Let's, uh, you see the storm tracker right here and also your track uh, time of arrival on that. Uh, it's hanging way down on the southwestern side of that supercell. Large hail damaging winds in the purple up there. So you see the, the stinger hook here coming around right now just to the west-southwest of Dibble. So there's the stinger hook coming around. Let's go back to Mark Dillard. He uh, is on this storm as well. Let's take a look at his stream. Tornado warning continues now for Cleveland and McLean counties right now on the county line west of Dibble. Mark, what do you have? Uh, yes, Mike, I'm uh, going through Washington right now. I'm just ahead of this storm by about, uh, I'd say, uh, four to five miles. Uh, the sirens are both in Washington, so folks, uh, get ready to take cover if you're in the path of this. Because as uh, Hank just said, and as we've been tracking, uh, this basically Chickasha. Uh, it, it's gone through several cycles, and at any point, we could get it back together and put down a uh, tornado. And uh, the parameters are, are really right on point for that today. So I'm sitting up here on a high spot, Mike. I'm just to the uh, west of, uh, of Washington proper here, looking back to my west and just a hair south at this uh, large circulation center here. And it's got a lot of uh, scud and fingers hanging down. And, and uh, as Hank was saying, he was, he was pretty close to, to it localizing just a few minutes ago. And I'm in total agreement with that. It's like it, at any point it can look like at the ground level and be lifting debris, but not look as connected at the top. So uh, it's just a matter of time, I think. Uh, this is really the best organization it's had all day. It's uh, in a better environment as far as uh, 
in flow, I believe, and, and it's looking a lot better than it did uh, even uh, 20 minutes ago back towards uh, Tabler and Chickasha. Back to you. Mark, appreciate that. Uh, Mark Dillard. Uh, if Hank Baker's still with us, we're looking, Hank, we're looking at Mark Dillard's stream. Uh, look, look, what, do you, uh, what do you think about this wall cloud right now? Pretty much over Dibble. Um, yes, it is, Mike. Um, it actually would be, uh, looks to me like it would be just to the south and west of Dibble. Uh, we've got some, uh, it's got some circulation. It, it looks like it's still trying to organize a little bit. Uh, like Mark said a few minutes ago, it looked like it could just, uh, we'd start seeing debris on the ground at any time. It doesn't quite have that look right now, but uh, we are definitely right under it, Mike, and we're keeping a really close eye on it. Uh, we are located right at Highway 76 and Highway 39, just to the west southwest of Dibble by about three-quarters of a mile. Mike, back to you. Okay, appreciate that, uh, Hank Baker. Uh, let's go to the storm tracker. Here's the broad view to give you an overview of what we have going on right now. There's a tornado watch in effect till 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, we have uh, several storms out here. We have two storms that have tornado warnings on them right now. Uh, this one now on Highway 33 west of Cushing. Funnel clouds continue with that one. We're going to check with Reed Timmer and Dominator 4 on the Cushing tornado warning. Uh, and that is now east of Perkins, but there are severe storms back into the Perkins area with large hail and damaging winds. The tornado part of the storm is between Perkins and Cushing right now. Uh, still a developing supercell. Uh, no, no, nothing earth shattering with it right now uh, coming into Cedar Valley, but uh, it's spinning and it has some hail with it. Likely nickels could be a little bit of quarters uh, just to the southwest of Cashin right now. Uh, nickels maybe a couple small quarters just southwest of Cashin. Uh, not totally going gangbusters right now. That's good. And then we have a tornado warning on this storm right here. This is going to be just southwest of Dibble, and uh, that's going to be heading for far south Norman, Noble, and Purcell. We've got storm trackers, Hank Baker, Mark Dillard on this one, and we've got uh, Emily Sutton, as well as Ray Terror, the chopper on this one near Cushing. Chopper's actually coming back to Edmond uh, here to K4 to gas up with a full tank of Jet A, uh, since we're kind of in a lull here, but he'll be uh, coming back in here momentarily. And then down here by Fletcher Summit, Cyril, we have severe thunderstorms here with large hail, and... Wall cloud from Troy, Christensen, six miles north of Fort Sill. So large hail and uh, damaging winds uh, over here uh, with some golf balls at least down in northern Comanche County and southern and southeastern Caddo County. Uh, that storm is severe. So